Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to FIA European Truck Racing Championship. If you love American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator or racing games in general, this could definitely be the game for you. Available now on PC, I'm playing with my Logitech G29 steering wheel and a manual transmission. So let's get into a quick race and see what this very realistic truck driving game has to offer. We're racing trucks here today, so let's go ahead and hop over to the World Series. It also offers European truck racing as well, and real world brands. You might be able to see the Western Star there, and also the, uh, what well, looks like a Volvo and a few other trucks there. Oh, I see a Mac in the background. We're going to definitely have to grab one of those. Let's grab uh, Gabriel Silva and head to the Americans then for a, a wonderful race. There's tons of maps from around the world, and as I mentioned, there's Volvo Man, Freightliner, and Western Star, and even real world brands such as Yokohama Tires. So let's go ahead and start our race here i'm going to try to shoot for 10th place we'll start in 12th i'm going for 10th because i'm not very skilled at these games at all but for those of you looking for a realistic experience this game coming out of nowhere really looks great and is an amazing game it really is just a, a very good uh, detailed and realistic looking game with a lot of nice immersion to it including those real world brands look at how nicely the map looks that uh, track looks great the buildings around it really look realistic, and the wow, everybody's packed in like sardines. This is awesome. So welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. If you want to see more of this game, let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite truck to race would be, and if you'd like to see this game on consoles, uh, what console you have, PS4 or Xbox. Let the developers know. They might watch these videos. So the track looks really good. There's lots of different tra uh, tracks to choose from. I believe there's like 14 different tracks, and then also 45 trucks with 20 teams to choose from. So 20 different countries in the world, such as Japan and uh, so Slovakia and Spain and Italy and Mexico and other places like that. So let me know what country you're from down below in the comment section too and let me know what truck you would like to drive. I'm just curious. There is our wonderful Mack truck with the Yokohama tires on the side. Beautiful. Looks like we can do a little tuning of our truck and also uh, there's the rules and penalties for example cutting the corner and, and things like that. So let's get started with our truck then and keep in mind that we're going to actually have to cool our brakes too. So I'm not expecting first place. I'm not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth place, ninth. No, we're going for the coveted 10th. That's about as good as I can do, I think, in these racing games. But I do really admire a game that showcases not motorcycles or, or cars, but big O trucks. It's going to be really cool. So these are going to be very difficult to drive. You can see we've got a Volvo and a Freightliner up front, and then even more in the back. I think I see a Western Star over there, maybe a Tatra truck on the far left, just behind that second uh, Freightliner there. Yeah, look at those trucks. There we go. we got people from uh, the United States and Argentina, maybe Brazil and Spain. Uh, looks like we got Belgium here, another American. On the left, that's probably going to be a... Uh, oh, that's somebody from Poland. And there's Mexico on the right. We've got, uh, let's see, uh, Canada and... Oh, New Zealand, too. Very cool. I think there are some New Zealand tracks, maybe. There's definitely an Australian one. And then, of course, uh, me over there on the right side. Perfect. Well, cheer me on. Here we go. Don't expect anything amazing. I'm probably going to go into the wall and uh, cause some havoc, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe we can take out the first driver and no one will notice. But anyway, welcome everybody to Swift Driver Training Simulator so we can become part of the uh, Jeff Bezos Amazon Prime Overnight Delivery Crew. Here they go. Wow, nice. These trucks got some good paint jobs to them, that's for sure. The spoilers look awesome. I didn't even know this was real anyway. Like, I thought it was a county fair or a state fair thing. I thought that's what you would do at the county or state fairs. I had no idea it was a real thing. All right, here we go. Whoa, we're going right into the wall. Okay, we're off to a great start. Hello. All right, I'm, gi I'm giving everyone else a chance. I, don't, I actually don't know why I did that. That's kind of weird. All right, let's follow our drive line. We'll get to be able to see a little bit of features from back here, including all the different views that we have. So it looks like... Oh, did you see that? We actually had a view from inside the uh, helmet, too. There's your third-person views. And, of course, the helmet cam, too. That's kind of neat. Very cool. And there's our uh, water meter and all of our temperature for our brakes. You got the uh, front, left, right, and rear left and right uh, brakes, as well as the water. That'll take to cool them. So that's going to be really cool. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? Ah, oh, the track looks good too. Lots of uh, little details to the track, which make all the difference if you're driving in a world like this. All the wear and tear on the track really makes it look good. We'll catch up with everybody soon. Eventually someone will go into the wall and we'll be able to pass them. Kind of uh, almost feels like cheating, but I guess not if they go into the wall. Alright, very good. Taking some of these corners pretty nicely. I'm surprised I haven't gotten into the wall yet, to be honest with you. I did a little bit of the tutorial. That's about it. Now here's an opportunity to overtake, I think. Let's really pick up the pace here. There we go. Nice long stretch to maybe sneak around some people. Nope, not, not, not yet, not yet. Everybody's braking. 
Ooh. Well, thank you. I don't I don't know what was so superb about it, but thank you for the compliment. Awesome. Whoa. Hello. Oh, it's it's FedEx next to me, my arch rival. Yay, we're in eleventh place. Awesome. All right, let's chill here in eleventh for a little while. Maybe I'll get a chance to overtake. Let's go. Let's go. Oh baby. Oh baby. <gasps> Tenth. What? Could I go for ninth? Oh, they're just letting me pass now. That bribery check must have cleared. All right, perfect. All right, let's sit here for a little while. There's a, a very tight turn coming up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry. First day. Swift driver training. Oh boy, that guy's going out. Sir, don't bump me. Wow, we're in eighth place now? All right, well, that, that ain't going to happen. Countdown until I go into the wall. You can timestamp that. I'm definitely going to... Remember to spray water on them. Try to hold your position. Thank you, ma'am, for the reminders. She's very helpful. I would forget without her reminding me. All right, here we go. I'm just going to try to keep eighth. I'm, I'm not going to get greedy until I get a little bit more practice. But it is a definitely a smooth game. Look at that helicopter flying around up there. All the people on the sides. Beautiful. I think if you want to turn off the drive line, you can definitely do that too. If you want no help whatsoever, the HUD off and all that other stuff, you can definitely do that. So if it's not for you, turn it right off. And also, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. And also, if you want to switch things over to miles per hour, kilometers, uh, Celsius, that type of thing, you're more than welcome to do that. I think we're going to be able to maintain the mighty eight. Oh, should I get greedy? we got to get greedy. Let's get greedy. Good overtake. Thank you, ma'am. I'm a big boy. Uh-oh. All right, the only thing that was big there was my ego. Okay. There is a little uh, camera that you can see behind us. If you look at the HUD where the speedometer and the uh, braking intensity is and all that stuff, uh, you can kind of see uh, the, the kind of rear view camera that's going on there. So you can see if somebody's behind you or coming up on you or how to you know sneak in if you need to merge into a, in front of somebody else. Very cool. I love this track. This is very nice. I wonder if this is one of the harder ones or if this is like an easy track. It feels like a pretty intermediate, I'd say. Uh, but there are a lot of turns. It almost reminds me of Laguna Seca in, uh, I think that's in California. And wow, what a nice clear day. Absolutely, ma'am. I also wonder if there's um, weather effects in this game. That's something I, I have yet to see, but I did see a pit stop earlier. So that's a, fe a feature of the game. Imagine an endurance race in this. Imagine going like 100 laps. Oh boy. Oh, that is a tight turn. Jeff Bezos, I'm sorry. I think we're going to be overtaken. Maybe not. Hey, I'm not doing too bad. I'm almost like, you know, halfway through the top place. Like, sixth place would be amazing for me. I was expecting ten. This is not bad. I love all the little details of this map. Look at all the semi-trailers to the right side, all the tents and things. I think I'm just looking out for those things because, you know, that's kind of what you see in American Truck Simulator is all the... All the um, <laughs> in fact, that's why I'm keeping back. Like, I'm thinking I got cargo with me or something like that. This is a race, boy. Pick up that pace. Sorry. I know, I'm sorry. It's my, it's my first day. Everybody give me a break. I mean, water, a cool break at least. Oh boy. After colliding with another driver, you received a time penalty. Alright, we'll have to be a little bit more careful then. I'm getting a little too aggressive now. So we might bop down to 8th uh, place or something with all that time penalty, but that's okay. Finishing the race and not being in last is my only goal. I would like to see a few more uh, brands on the track, though. Like, for example, I s I've seen one of the tracks has a Michelin tire, uh, I think, like, a time tracker or something like that. It, it, it's a little thing that'll tell you what position you're in or something on the side of the track. And uh, it is Michelin, so real-world brands are a part of this uh, trucking game. There's a lot more to do than just race in this game. you got to watch your, uh, watch your braking temperature. That's pretty astounding. Oh, boy. Oh. Don't get distracted. I'm sorry. All right, let's just try to maintain now. Seventh place is not too bad for me. I'm trying to get aggressive and go up to six. Although I noticed the side view mirror is a little blurry. Try to hold your position. I have graphics set on the maximum setting, and the, the mirror is actually not functioning as it should. So that's a little disappointing, but 
I guess one minor thing is not a major problem for me. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Hey, I'm maintaining. I'm, I'm really... I'm proud of myself. I haven't gone into the wall. I'm not on fire. I'm not overturned. I haven't been pulled over for speeding. I haven't run a stop sign or a red light. This is great. And this also feels like playing, like I said, American Truck or Euro Truck Simulator multiplayer. This is everybody trying to join a convoy. It's like, hey, big old truckin's doing a convoy in uh, Waukegan, Illinois. We all got to meet up there. And everyone's just hauling to get to the position. <laughs> of course, there's no Illinois in the game, but there you go. The drive line is very helpful for me as a, like a, an absolute pure noob. That is super helpful to see where to go and like how to maintain your, uh, your truck. Very helpful. I like that. It's helping me to enjoy the game a lot more. And then if you're a mega pro, all you got to do is throw it into realism mode, and there you go. You can enjoy it, too. Ooh, you got a really break here. Ooh. Great overtake. No, we're not overtaking nothing, ma'am. We're going to be in seven for a while. Sir? Oh, my God. That guy. That is, that is ridiculous. That must be a UPS day driver. That's right. I got into six, boys. I did it. Half place. I'm almost, almost to first. I'm probably not going to make it, but I'm definitely not going to be top three. But I'm way proud of myself now. Keep your brakes cool. Remember to spray water on them. Now, of course, the game. all my collisions are probably going to cost me time, which will bop me down. But that's okay. Staying on the track and learning the truck is kind of a cool thing. It feels really weird to be driving this truck like this. If you see an opening, go for it. I think my biggest problem is, uh, you know, you, you play a million hours of American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck, and you're so used to, like, not getting aggressive and, you know, watching your mirrors and being safe and going slow and taking your time. And then here it's like, big old truck, go fast. Like, that's literally the game. <laughs> it's a change. And I like it. Change is good, especially when it adds up to a couple of dollars. And we're going to be making big money in this circuit. I'm making uh, Yokohama and Mack trucks proud. We're very upset. This track is rather long. I actually uh, thought we would be over by now. This is actually a long race. Well, there's that death turn I hate. Oh! That's the one that always gets me. Boys, I am proud to announce that even though I said I was going to get into 10th place, I actually finished 6th. Probably a little, maybe 7th, but... Still better than what I thought I'd do. Position 8th, yay! That's after the time cut down, of course, the added 10 seconds. But with practice, I'll be able to uh, get that up a little higher. But at least I, I finished 6th, bopped down to 8th from the time. But at least I didn't finish in 10th, like Nathan Wilson down there. Take that, Nathan. Take that, sir. A very good game, I must say. I, I like this game a lot in terms of, like, the, uh, the premise of it. Let's head back and... Uh, how do we head back to the uh, HQ there? There we go. Wow. The fact that these guys were able to lock down real-world brands, which seems to be impossible sometimes, a lot of you know from playing, like, SCS games that, uh, you know, Euro Truck is only able to get so many brands from, uh, you know, Euro Truck and uh, American Truck Simulator. They only have Volvo, uh, Kenworth, and, uh, and also uh, Peterbilt. So those three are the only ones available in ATS, and it's cool to see, like, Mac and some other ones here in this game, too. So a little bit of variety. So if you like racing games, this is definitely one to check out. If you like, uh, uh, of course, uh, simulator games of any type and, and racing games and ATS and that type of thing, this is definitely cool. Again, multiplayer is available in this one, too. Split screen, so you can play with a friend at home. Uh, of course, you can also search for races, make your own, or do a quick race. I'm assuming that's probably against AI, and then anybody can join uh, at the same time, too, uh, and then take over the AI drivers. So championships, time trials, events, and then a few other things you can do in the game. Let's head back and just check at the main menu. Oh, this actually exits back to Windows. No, I thought there was a main menu to the game. There is... a uh, little bit of a tutorial at the start that really gets the excitement going and, um, and then kind of you can do a little bit of whatever you want the career mode too I forgot to mention it's sitting right in front of the face but that's where you can finish some championships and and uh, kind of get some better trucks and pick whoever welcome you want. to career before oh, we proceed you're going to need to fill in a few details about yourself well thank you first and last name nationality gender oh look at that there's all the nationalities in the game you can choose from Turkey Norwegian uh, ooh. Jamaica man, awesome. Mexico, and uh, uh, is that Qatar? Ooh, there we go. We got uh, 
We got Denmark here, and where is Sweden? Let's see. Oh, there's Sweden. Just kidding. <laughs> That's Denmark and Sweden. I just, I'm just trying to trigger you. Cool, nice helmets, lots of cool customization you can do for your driver if you want to, and uh, there you go. All right, everyone, that is it for my time here for FIA European Truck Racing Championships, a game that's pretty neat. For a game that you clicked on to see racing of trucks, that's exactly what it is, and it does it rather well. I can't think of any other games out there, so let me know, by the way, what your nationality is down below. Let me know uh, where you're watching from here today, what truck you'd like to drive in. And, uh, you know, some of your f uh, favorite uh, brands and truck uh, races and things like that, car races, Laguna Sega tracks, anything down below in the comments section. Let me know where you're from and, and what you'd like to do. I am from the United States and would love to drive some more Mack trucks. So that's me. All right, everybody, I will see you all very soon for more. Thank you very much for tuning in today and give me some time. And, of course, your coveted likes. Thank you very much for liking the video on the way out. I hope you liked it. I liked it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Have a fantastic day, y'all. Bye.